my son took off yesterday for his school trip to Japan and uh, it was kind of interesting because we you kind of see things going a certain way in your mind and you have a routine where well I would have had to have left for LA before he left for his trip um, but getting to see him off for his trip was actually really cool um, it's the first time he's been away from home for so long, or I, I haven't been relatively close to him. And, uh, yeah, when I'm at the airport saying bye to him, all of his teachers are like, oh, aren't you fighting tomorrow? You know, and they actually tried to set up a way that Sean could either watch it online while in, in uh, Japan, um, so you wouldn't miss it. Um, yeah. So, today is... Uh, <clears throat> May 5th and uh, just watching the, the John Dodson fight in the UFC on Fox 3 um, um, at the tactics that John Dodson used or like the, the individual movements uh, I think that we had a good understanding of how he moved and uh, we were pretty well prepared he does move well he does counter strike really well uh, more so particularly in the, in the beginning of the fight I know they mentioned that he might have had a in hand injury and that might have affected that later on in the fight. Um, but uh, watching at how Dodson moved, I, I saw how he scrambled on the ground. Um, was pretty familiar with his uh, wrestling defense and stuff like that. But uh, I think that, to be honest, and I'm not trying to be boastful or um, have a false sense of security or something, but I think that uh, my approach and plan on dealing with that, I think I would have been able to execute noticed that when they said that he had a hand injury he started reverting to just throwing the elbow and uh, you know not to sound judgmental or anything but I think you can see a um, see something there you know some guys will have a broken arm or broken hand and they'll still hit you with it some guys their mentality is hey I've got a broken hand I'm thinking about the next fight and the next fight after that I'm gonna just throw elbows, or this really hurts, and so it hurts, so now I'm gonna stop using it. I th my personal philosophy, and not, and uh, again, I'm not saying it's better than the others, because sometimes you have to be thinking about the future, right? And this might be a shortcoming on my part, but I think you have to think like the Terminator, and the original Terminator, right? And like, oh, my eyeball's messed up, I'll just cut it out and throw it in the sink, right? But I'm gonna keep coming forward, uh, you know, you don't, you don't take the time. I, I find it more scary when a fighter doesn't take the time to acknowledge the injury and will just keep coming forward. You know, it's like if you could shoot somebody and they just kept coming forward, that's going to really freak you out. But uh, so in that, I think I saw a little bit of an insight into what uh, or how he is as a fighter. You know, one thing that I've, I picked up on is, uh, you know, his behavior in this fight is a lot different than in other fights. I know um, some fans actually would send messages when they knew I was going to fight them saying that they don't like them. I don't know them personally. I understand that the way people act uh, when they're at a fight or in front of the camera might be different from how they are as normal people. So I don't necessarily have anything personally against them. I noticed that uh, he seemed a little different. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, he has a big uh, contract with the UFC. I don't know if he had pressure just to win. Um, as opposed to like having a, a point to prove. I really, really would uh, like to thank everybody that supported me along the way. I know it's been pretty anticlimactic with uh, the turn of events um, from everybody that's helped me with uh, picking up my kids from school, like I've mentioned in the, in the last fight. Uh, right now, you're just getting your foot in the door at the UFC. You're not making millions of dollars, so uh, every, every bit helps. You know, people watching after school it, it's, it's huge um, from the fans it's actually commented on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram or, or anywhere um, on Twitter sending me messages saying uh, you know they hope I feel better and they have a lot of concern about my health I, I really appreciate it uh, you know the purpose behind these videos weren't to make me seem um, like some fantastic superhero or anything. I just wanted to shine a light on you know the inside, uh, how it is being an actual fighter and a dad and, and, and a person. So a lot of times people say, oh, you know, I, I can't imagine. I, I can't believe you're a, you're a UFC fighter. Uh, you know, it's it's I'm like everybody else. It's just uh, striving to be better. 
and, and uh, you know, I've gotten some some comments saying thanks for putting these videos out. You know, it it, it helps them get a better gist on on how to approach training and stuff like that. And and I think that's what makes the biggest difference. It, it not for myself or my direct students, but all the other guys out there. You know, if there's one guy that uh, cannot miss his big shot because he trained a lot smarter, then then this whole experience served a, a big purpose. And uh, who knows, it might not even be somebody that wants to be a fighter, it's just uh, maybe a kid striving to be a baseball player or, or um, it creates some inspiration for somebody just to pursue their dream with, with everything. Uh, you know, that's why why we're kind of doing this, you know, just uh, if God gives you a talent, then, then you got to use it and, and hopefully you can uh, show it in some way and these videos allow us to do that uh, whether I'm in the ring or not so to all the people that check out the videos repost the videos and stuff like that I really really appreciate it um, this is actually uh, was gonna be my walkout t-shirt from from the guys at Illist um, I was really looking forward to it they've been friends of mine since I was like 15 16 years old um, and they're doing big things and they're supporting me as I'm trying to do big things like uh, guys at Mint Design Shoes, you know, Leo and Lehman, again, uh, I really appreciate all the help, Show the Roll, um, Matt at, at Scramble, you know, always uh, showing some love, making some gym shirts, um, and Michi at Phoenix 2.0, you know, uh, providing me with a way to pay for things that I need to get to and from practice, and, and uh, yeah. So, and all the guys that go running with me every day and push me, it, it's huge. I really wish I could have uh, gotten out there and shown uh, shown what, I guess, the fruits of our labor um, were. But, you know, it'll, it'll happen next time. And I guarantee it'll be better. And I'll make a, even a greater statement. I'd really like to thank uh, Ryan Hall from 5050 BJJ, too. Um, you know, we have to be surrounded by... By, by peers and, that think like-minded like us and and that makes me better and and uh, you know guy travels all the way across uh, the country to spend a month here to help me out whether I'm fighting or not and, and that, that that shows uh, I think the bond of, of what guys that have like experiences will go go through for each other so you know big thanks to them and, and, and uh, to his team in Virginia that, that covered so that he could come out here. It's really huge. I really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's everybody. I might have forgotten some people and I'll, I'll use the concussion as an excuse for that last one last time. Uh, yeah.